hello hello everybody I'm super excited to be um, on this video with you and uh, I'm going to be talking about the rise of apps mobile apps and um, what you stand to gain from it of course my name is Othniel Mockley and it's a huge um, industry the world is going mobile apps um, everybody is getting into it big organizations are going into it everybody's doing um, taking their brand to another level with mobile apps and the, it, it just makes sense that um, your organization, your brand, your association, whatever you do, it's also in this. And so that's what I intend to share with you. So um, basically, what I would say is, uh, you know, mobile apps are things that power smartphones and smartphones of course are devices that can do things with, that computers can do but they can also call so basically what makes your smartphone um, more powerful are the mobile applications that are created and so what I'm going to help you do or show you how to do is, uh, is to show you how to create mobile apps that's my promise my products and the things that I sell, I show you how to create your own mobile apps, how to create mobile apps for local businesses around you to make them more powerful. Now, um, if you take a look at this picture, <laughs> we, we find um, now this picture is very controversial because some people do not agree with this. Some people prefer, um, they say, uh, here's Android and here's iOS, and it looks like iOS. When I examine this Blackberry at the back, and I uh, seems to be copying from Android. It looks like Android also is giving, you know, so I uh, iOS some, you know, tips and all of that. Uh, Blackberry is totally at the back, confused. The T totally confused. Now, um, I've used this in many presentations, and so I get yes, all kinds of, you know, analogies. Some dis outrightly disagree with the picture. They say it should be the other way around. It's Android copying iOS, you know. But however, what I can say is that everybody right now, you find many people is either they've got an iPhone or they've got an Android, and some people are still holding on to their BlackBerry. But the truth about it is, the whole world is moving smartphones. I heard in a in a report recently that there are more people using mobile phones to assess the internet and there are PCs assessing the internet. So the whole world is going mobile. People are using more their mobile phones in all kinds of places. Um, well, the truth about it is Blackberry, what killed Blackberry, I would say is terrible apps. And I don't know if it's too late for Blackberry to change its fortunes now, but looking back, its approach to apps doomed it. Because while everybody was looking for engaging, interactive apps to keep the the, the, their customers and clients on their you know devices and constantly engaged blackberry just focused on you know bbm and all of that yes that was good for a while but um the whole world was changing and blackberry failed to see it so blackberry was like a sinking ship you know <clears throat> and um yeah i wanted to share this with you let me make this a bit bigger coca-cola starting you know year 10 was the best global brand is over and the new leader is Apple you will not believe it but the new leader is Apple Apple is just like all over the place right now it just goes to show that um, you, when, when you're even talking about brands and all that it is a smartphone that has it that is being powered by mobile apps so let's keep going anyway then Twitter says Mobile has become the primary driver of our business. Our mobile products are critical to the value we create for our users, and they enable us um, enable our users to create, distribute, and discover content in the moment and on the go. Um, Twitter says 75 of, it, of its 2.18.3 million um, monthly active users are accessing the site from mobile devices. You know and. That's saying a lot because that's about like 161 million users. 
you know, and most of this mo mobile account, you know, and mobile accounts for 65% of all its ad revenues. So you see, even Twitter realizes that, look, we're making a lot of money and most of our money is coming from mobile, you know, and so we need to focus in on it. Many people are using their mobile for all kinds of things. Have you noticed in the shopping malls, you find people, you know, take pictures of things and just send them via IM or stuff to their girlfriends, their wives, you know, or mothers or something, just shopping. You know, mobile has made things just like so different, you know. Talk about in the toilet. Yes, 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 you are guilty, I know. Yes, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Yes, everybody takes their smartphone. Or at least I think most of the people I know take their smartphones into the toilet, you know. And if they don't, they're like, wow, you know, you know, it, 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 it really pains them because they wish they could be using it. So, um, this is a little joke, you know. It says that time pass, people take magazines, but now they take smartphones, you know. So, it's really, you know. I remember a joke that someone told me one time that when um, Steve Jobs got, got to heaven and the angel was trying to look out for his name, Steve Jobs was like, whoa, I have an app for that, you know. <laughs> so he's just going to say, and it's hilarious, but he's just going to show that um, apps are taking over everything. And he, I mean, the, uh, the graphic artists imagine that, you know, the app should also be in heaven, you know, so it's wonderful. And you, of course, once people are getting, you know, bored or get getting a bit silent, or you know, once everything is just getting still, people pick out their smartphones. And one thing that really annoys me, even in relationships, when you see two people, you know, talking together and walking together, you know, and you find one party is trying to get across to the other party and talk to them and maybe get the attention and all that. You just find the other one so engrossed in your phone and you know everything so it, it can be really annoying but it just goes to show how mobile apps are taking over and they have taken over completely so um so let's keep going so like i said previously mobile the mobile technology is disrupting all industries i i, I don't know how to say it for you to get it all industries and sectors is changing the way people interact among themselves and with service providers. It has changed them, you know. It has changed the medical industry. It, I mean, people many times now do not need to even, um, you know, walk into the hospital to finally get a diagnosis of what's wrong with them. They can, you know, with mobile apps now have an idea of what's going on with them and maybe even treat themselves if it goes out of hand you have to go to the hospital but as a first you know point of um, first aid mobile apps are just taking hold people are doing banking on the go now that's the GT bank you know and so it's just totally awesome people are paying for stuff you know via the via mobile apps you know so it's it's just it's just totally crazy um Marisa May on Yahoo CEO says that um, of their 800 million users, 350 million are, are on mobile. So everybody's catching up, you know. So more, and more people are connecting. Pinterest says it is experiencing the shift to mobile. It's saying while its web traffic may be declining, mobile and its total traffic is growing briskly. So um, the kind of um, reaction I expect from you is like that yes you know kind of reaction that you, when your friend asks for extra shit during the examination you're like what what are you writing you know that's how the mobile app revolution should be to you it's still taking total 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 control so um let's let's move on so I have a little story there's a story so once upon a time yes time time there lived there used to be a time in California in 1849 when a little young man found gold among the creeks 
somewhere in the waters. This discovery led to other people hearing about the gold in California and because California was abundant with gold, it was all over the place. People didn't realize that before, but when people began to realize that, it caused a huge migration, a huge rush to California. People from all over the world, from Australia, from Europe, from the US, all hurried, you know, to um, California. And of course, when they got to California, you know, all those who got in early, you know, who were the first people to get there, made such a killing and they made, became billionaires, you know. So that was. Um, that's what we know today as the Californian gold rush. Everybody rushed over there. I'm telling you, so of course, many people lost their lives, and you know, but for those who made it, it was, it was worth it, you know, because they, they, they were never poor again, you know, and all of that. Now, the next boom that I know of that came was the dot com rush. Everybody went on the website. Uh, the dot bees, the dot org, the net, the info. Everybody had to have a site, you know. And people were buying domain names for crazy amounts. And all those who got in on it early made a kill. But now, interestingly, is the app rush. Everybody's heading for mobile. Everybody's trying to do something for mobile. Everybody's trying to get in on an app, either for their brand, association, for the church, for an organization for an individual, everybody's just trying because you can reach um, your customers much, much faster. People are more connected, even on, on the bus, on the train, even using it for navigation. You know, you're somewhere you don't know where you're going to. Mobile apps are there to navigate you all the way, even to even, you know, schedule a taxi to come pick you up in traffic, yeah ladies to use it to shop you know so there's just so much you know going on people use it to plan their trips you know people use it to plan events you know so you can use mobile apps for all kinds of things everyone needs an app and you should be the one providing it and that's why I'm here to help you people are engaging with angry birds like you know and candy crush and the different ones that are available out there. so does your business need an app of course your business needs an app I, I don't care if you're a hotel or whatever you're doing your business does need an app as long as you've got clients that are working with you who are on mobile you should be on mobile if that's where they're hanging out then you should also do that so I want to share um, a few um, slide, uh, slides that share few resources that you could use to create um, mobile apps. One of them is um, called AppGazer. Now, AppGazer.com, when you go there, of course, you need to sign up and get an account. But once you get there, it's very intuitive. And with just a few clicks and a few setups and all that, of course, you have to have your information. You could have a mobile app up and running in next to no time, in perhaps maybe 30 minutes or one hour have your mobile app ready to, de to be deployed to the app stores it's just totally awesome another app solution that I recommend that you go check out is ideal app they have wonderful resources of course you might have to pay for some but some are free too so you check them out another wonderful one is shout app you know it's a wonderful way you can create iPad apps Android apps you know all kind of apps so and of course if you want to create games um, you, you could use um, um, create free iPhones create free iPhone apps that come here that's what I think it is yeah you could create you know quizzes jokes questions daily, all kinds of stuff you know or if you wanted to create a more you know organized game then you could, I would advise you go for game salad so the truth about it is that your brick and mortar approach to marketing is costing your business money and you can't afford it at all you cannot afford to put your head in the sand like the ostrich and just believe that nothing is happening and all will be well because the truth of it is that the whole world is changing and you can't afford to be like the ostrich you just put your head in the sand like nothing's gonna happen i'm not budging i'm not moving really you're not moving 
So what I'm promising, what I, what I advise, what, what I want to help you do is I want you to help over to build apps with no coding.com and put in your name and you know and your email address and subscribe to that list and of course I'm going to take you through a seven day series I'm going to be showing you with videos and um, little write-ups how you can set up your um, apps I'm going to take you by the hand step by step you know and just prep you and take you through a boot camp and by, 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 by the end of seven days you should have your own mobile app be it for the Android or for the iPhone or anything just put in you know your 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 this thing and get ready to be blown away of course put in your best email the email that you regularly check and subscribe and you will be it will be one of the best decisions you've ever made you know so I'm what I'm going to be sharing with you for the next seven days I'll be sharing with you the simple mobile app formula that allows ordinary people build professional looking mobile apps without any programming knowledge totally you will learn how you can literally build your first app on your own how to create mobile apps even if you have no programming experience of course you're going to get free videos that reveals a sneaky trick that resulted in over 30,000 app downloads in 30 days I'm also going to share with you how to make money from iPhone apps without creating a single app yes this is possible and I'm going to be sharing that with you I'm also going to share how to advertise what you do on people's iPhone, Android, Windows, Blackberry, App Store, whatever you want. And finally, I'm going to be sharing seven tips for creating mobile apps that attract massive downloads over and over and, and over again. The truth about it is that those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. My advice is do not forget the lessons that the past can be. It's up for you to decide. Will you join the army of hungry entrepreneurs who will step onto the field and claim all the juicy grounds? Or are you waiting for others? So don't be in indecision, you know, no, I won't do it, I can't do it, I want to no no no, I want you up there. Yes, I will do it, you know. And I just need to push you over. Yes, I did. I'll show you the way, you know. And you might ask, why am I sharing all these secrets? You know. I'm sharing this to start a movement, to start something going, you know, create, create, create momentum, you know, I, I want you to be a visionary, I want you to look ahead in the future with promise in your eyes, with hope, with belief that yes, life, the future still holds something for me, the dream that I have, that I had, maybe, just maybe, I might still be able to actualize it and I'm and I want to work with 25 people just 25 people to show them how you know um, take them by the hand step by step and make them proud of themselves so what I want to say today is you can reach out for anything new if your hands are still full of yesterday's junk so my advice to you is free up what you know and grab a hold of something new move to the next level Many people are going through life, you know, like lions who have lost their roar. My duty is that for you, I want you to find your roar back. Find the thing that makes you tick, that makes you be strong, you know. That's, that, that's, that's, that's my aim, you know. So, no matter what you go through, all I want to tell you is, you matter. Whatever you are going through, you matter. So... I, I I can work with you one on one if you want and does that's, that's my detail my phone number my Twitter my my Facebook page and all that and I just want you to know you rock you're awesome and any if you want to get in touch with me just feel free you know to reach me on Twitter or on Facebook or you know give me a ring you know just feel free I'll be ready to work with you one-on-one -on -one to either build your apps or teach you how to build an apps so till I come your way um, some other time you just um, keep doing what you're doing and I'll see you at the top